Are you supposed to test this patient to prove that the patient's eradicated patient has pylori? That's an interesting question, right? So when it comes to treatment of peptic ulcer disease with H. pylori, what I want you to remember is this. You want to test for H. pylori, you want to treat for H. pylori, and then you want to test again to prove that you've eradicated H. pylori. So this patient is right on the point. The patient is actually teaching you a very important point. Let's look at answer A. Perform a urea breath test today. Now urea breath test is a fantastic test that we can actually use on our patients to see if the patient's got H. pylori infection or not. But the problem is with today. Can you test the patient today is the question. Answer B is test for a stool antigen today. Again, stool antigen test is also a fantastic test, but is today the right answer? Answer C is test the H. pylori IgG serologic test. Well, this test is completely useless and probably one test that I actually genuinely don't like. So when it comes to testing patients for H. pylori, you really have three important tests and one useless test.